Good afternoon. Tuesdays with Corey, and I'm your host, Corey Snyder. Today, we're going to talk about broken trampolines and regrets, okay? So, let's talk about regrets. Do I regret doing a backflip while filming? And breaking the trampoline? <laughs> Maybe. But let's talk about that. Today is my mom's birthday. My mom passed away almost seven years ago. And a lot of people I've talked to, I've had some great conversations with, we talked about what I would, what do, do I regret anything? Do I regret not talking to her, or sorry, not talking to her, but telling her I loved her? Do I regret not hugging her or kissing her? Whatever maybe, or mentally I've thought those things, right? So here's the thing. Regrets can be very powerful. Good or evil, we'll call it, okay? We have the opportunity as people to, again, grow. We've talked about it several times. But how do we leverage those, how do we leverage those regrets? If we let those things eat us apart and say, you know what, I should have told her I loved her more. If I, I should have kissed her more or hugged her more. Those things will eat us apart instead of saying, you know what? I'm gonna tell I'm gonna take the step forward and I'm gonna say, you know what? Family, friends, I'm gonna hug you a little bit more. I'm gonna tell you I love you a little bit more. I'm going to tell you how much I appreciate you a little bit more. Because fact is, there will be a time you where you where you won't be have the opportunity. Right? I didn't I didn't know when my mom was gonna pass away, but she did. Did I tell her I loved her? Quite often. Why? Because she was sick majority of my life. Right? Some people don't have that opportunity. So here's the thing. You have the opportunity to do it. Each and every freaking day. Go tell your kids you love them and hug them. Anybody that says, oh, my kids know, is an idiot. Whether they are know or not does not matter. The fact is, they need to hear it. Hearing is, set, is different than knowing. You get an opportunity to feel it when somebody says it because you know the emotion behind it. So here's the funny thing. So you guys are now watching the video and now it's cut into this. So <clears throat> my son walks out while I'm doing the video and think about talking about regrets and things. <laughs> and uh, he walks out to make sure I'm okay. And I frustration, I pause the video. Now I've now got to figure out how to edit it, da, 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 da. And I yell at him like, go inside, please. I'm trying to do my Tuesdays with Corey. <laughs> so perfect example of being an idiot. He was coming out, he's my three-year-old, almost four, and he was coming out to make sure dad was okay because I flipping broke the trampoline. What's funny is I'm not a big dude and this isn't the first time I've done this. <laughs> but the, so perfect example. Do I regret that, that right there? Do I regret the interaction? I don't regret it. I look at it as I'm an idiot and I'm not gonna do it again. I use it as a learning opportunity. Now I have the opportunity to go in there and give my son a hug and a kiss and tell him, look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have reacted that way. That's what I'm talking about, people. Use your, those things that you may consider regret. Rethink them. Use them as learning opportunities, right? Look at your kids. When was the last time you told them you loved them or gave them a hug and kiss and told them they were beautiful or they were good at something and how much you appreciated them? Huh? How many times have you done that? And why haven't you? Oh, it's weird, it's awkward, or whatever it may be. Same thing with people that you work with. Why not tell them you appreciate them? What's it going to hurt? Does it hurt you? No. So just freaking do it. Again, if your uh, person you work with, your rep, or whoever it may be, your kids, your family, your sister, if you say, oh, they know I love them, they know I appreciate them, you're an idiot. Because whether they know or not is not the freaking point. Tell them. It makes you a better person, it allows you to share your emotions, it allows you to get closer to your family and friends, and they will know how much you appreciate them because who knows, in a split second they could be gone. Don't regret things, use them as an opportunity to become better and grow. I'm serious, go look back at any of those times you regret. Regret joining the service, regret telling somebody you love them, or whatever, whatever it is. Go back to those instances and say, why do I regret them? And change. Don't put yourself in a position to have that regret again. And get over it. Get over it by doing the, the other thing. I regret not telling somebody I love them and, they, and, they, and now they're not in my life anymore. That's fine. Go tell somebody that's in your life that you love them. 
when you appreciate them. All right? So I just had learning oppor- two learning opportunities, <laughs> breaking trampoline and yelling at my kid. And um, so, again, Tuesdays with Corey. Look forward to hearing your comments and your likes and your shares. If you have any ideas, feel free to share them. But I look forward to doing this next Tuesday. Look for it. Thanks.